Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Ooh. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. Today I'm gonna talk about pressure point release or trigger point releases with a pressure ball. These balls were actually sent to me by King Athletic, and if you'd like to find out some more information about them, you can go to kingathletic.com. I really like these pressure point balls because they're a lacrosse style ball. You can use a tennis ball, a golf ball, or a racquetball, but their different densities are sometimes not quite as good for pressure point release. A tennis ball is a little bit squishier, a golf ball is really hard, and a racquetball is kind of squishy too. This is somewhere in the middle where it has a little bit of give so it's not super hard, but it's nice and firm where you can really get that specific trigger or pressure point. They come in a nice orange color. And they also come in green, which is my favorite color. They also come with a nice carrying case. So if you're traveling with them, they fit in the bag and they can fit in your case and you can just take them along with you. One of the nice ones to start off with is a pressure point on the bottom of your foot where your plantar fascia is. So you can start off with actually just finding that point and pushing your foot down on it, or you can actually roll the ball on your foot and get that whole fascia area, which is really nice. When you're first starting off, you don't want to push super hard because you're going to feel it a lot. But as you get going, you can start pushing a little bit harder and get a little bit more pressure in there to relieve those tender points and pressure points in there. So now I'm going to show you some lying down. Another great place to use the pressure point ball is right underneath your bottom where your glutes and your piriformis are. So you can just kind of lean into it if you just need a little bit of pressure to start and then you can actually roll over to it and sit on it but try and relax that muscle. The reason that I really like these is because you can do pressure points with your hand. You can push in with your thumb but then you really wear out your hand. So this is a great way to protect your body as well as get that pressure point release. So it's really nice in there. You can hold it for about five to 10 seconds to start off with. And if it feels really good, then you can work your way up to about 30 seconds. Another great spot is the SI joint. A lot of times people have a really big tender point, pressure point right at that SI joint. Sometimes if it's slightly out of alignment, you can use this to help get it back aligned. So just right under those little dimple spots on your back, just put the ball and slowly lie down onto it. Again, you can lean over a little bit if you don't want a whole lot of pressure to start off with, but then if it feels good, you can kind of lean over and use your body weight to get a little more pressure on there, which makes it feel really nice. Now remember, you don't want just pain pain. You want that hurts so good kind of feeling. So it feels good even though it hurts a little bit. If it just hurts, hurts, then you shouldn't use it. And then you can also go up to your levator scap muscle, which is the one that pulls up your scapula. This is one that gets really, really tight um, and sensitive if you are stressed out and you hold your shoulders up, if you work on the computer a lot and you keep your arms up like that. And so that's right there, right on the top of that shoulder blade. Again, you can take that ball and just lay down on that spot. If you want to kind of move your body a little bit over onto it, you'll know when you hit it because it feels different than just laying on it on a muscle that's not tightened up. So those were your exercises for trigger point releases with the massage balls. If you'd like to find out more about the King Athletic balls that I use, go to kingathletic.com. If you're interested in purchasing these, you can go to my website and our product store at askdrjoe.com products. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.